What's up everybody, Taylor Twelman from Major League Soccer and Apple TV here. 2024 is going to be an interesting and exciting year for MLS, Messi, and Apple TV. So for your pleasure, or pain, I will be giving you my takes from the previous match days right here. Twelman's takes, if you will. So let's go. I have to start in the Pacific Northwest because nobody, and I mean nobody, saw this coming from the Portland Timbers on day one, especially when all of us have been talking about the lack of a number nine and two designated player spots open. Phil Neville doesn't know his best 11. He doesn't even have a complete roster. And speaking of Phil Neville, remember his hiring wasn't the most welcomed hiring by the Timbers Army. So it was massive that they needed to get off to a good start. But this? Evander, arguably their best player, Pulls out of the starting 11 due to an injury in warm-ups. Maxime Cropo, their free agent signing, he's not even available due to visa issues. And they put it on the Colorado Rapids. This kid, Anthony, he is the real deal. Now remember, he came in late last year, but he didn't do much for many of us to take notice. Well, guess what? Now he's got everyone's attention with the two goals he scored, both a very different variety, but also very clinical. And how about Eric Williamson? Second ACL injury in three years, and he comes back and opens up 2024 with that kind of finish. By the way, Phil Neville, play him as a 10. He's got so much quality, and he still has so much left in his career. A real interesting player for Phil Neville to use. Now, Phil Neville still needs a 9. He still needs some depth. But what a great story in the Rose City. Now, Sunday night, the Stars were out in L.A. for the first time in a long time. And why do I say that? Because it was in the building where Major League Soccer changed forever with Beckham, Keane, and Donovan. But that was 2014. And since that MLS Cup, I can count on one hand how many times the buzz and the energy was like what I experienced Sunday night for Messi and company. Zlatan versus Vela, LAFC versus the Galaxy are the only other times in the last 10 years where the crowd delivered. So much so, they had to let them in 60 minutes earlier to get ready. And the game was fantastic. This Galaxy team, completely different. I get it, Ricky Pooch, but now paint seal, peck on the flanks. You got a full season of Fagundas. They may be as balanced of an attack as any attack in Major League Soccer. And keep an eye on Jovalic. With those players around him, he may have 15 plus goals. Oh yeah, forgot. Messi scored a goal in extra time to steal a point. Can't make it up. Messi, Alba, Messi, Alba, Messi. Messi got absolutely run over with Miami. And yet, what does Messi do? He says, hey, hang on a minute. I'll take that point. That's ours. Now, across the town on Saturday, for the first time in their history, LAFC kicked off a season without their number 10, Carlos Vela. As of today, he's not on the roster, but he's one of 17 players that left LAFC, including four other starters from MLS Cup, Palacios, Chiellini, Cripo, Acosta. But the quality still remains. Hugo Lloris, World Cup winning goalkeeper, seamlessly fit into the team. Great leadership and experience desperately needed for a young team. On to West, the leaves for two years, yet after five minutes of watching the game, you're like, well, he's always been here. Calm on the ball, great presence, understanding what the game and the team needs. How about left back Omar Campos? Great assist on the first goal. There are so many question marks if he can fill the void of Palacios, and yet he gave you a great indication that he absolutely can. But who will play the nine? As of now, that is Bogush, a false nine. But if he scores goals like this, they may not need to sign someone this summer. <laughs> yeah, right. LAFC, two DP spots open? You're not going to sign anyone this summer? Oh, yeah. And the free agent goalkeeper they signed? Speaks French, right? Huh. Wonder who's available this summer. Speaking of this... We had that conversation with LAFC team president John Thornton on this week's episode of Offside. I also chat with Colorado Rapids new head coach Chris Armas on what it's going to take to turn things around in 2024.